Hello, everybody. My name is Merc. Back with Elden Ring. We're in this exact same spot at the Temple Quarter. Uh, I do believe I have cleared out that area, so I think we're just gonna go south and see what kind of nonsense we can see in the midst of all these octopi. Not the best start. I don't know if I needed to dodge there, but I did. <laughs> I don't know if these octopus are more aggressive. They sure seem it. Um. Yeah, they seem to have like a big flail attack where they uh, flail the tentacles and charge forward and then do a big jump at the end. But it seems like they can do it twice in a row. I don't know if I'm just getting unlucky, or if that's actually, uh, their moveset. But it is costing us some flasks, which is unfortunate. Here's the big jump. I think it was still going. I think it is just a very, very long animation. Murderous intent. Hit it another time with a charge heavy. Rather than go for the critical. Okay. Got our flasks back. We've already checked that little gazebo over there. See a spirit. Let's go see what it has to say. Why is it always Wraith? Ah, the poor fellow gone perfectly mad. Love, revenge, the frenzied flame melts it all away. To me, that suggests we might encounter some frenzy in the this northwestern direction. I guess I'll leave this little icon there because we're not going to go onto land just yet. I guess I'm going to check out the east because I put that other icon there. I don't think there's going to be anything but some octopus. But excuse me as I once again state my curiosity. Not seeing a whole lot. In fact, I see some corpses of the frog folk. To me, that means we were already over there. So let's go back north. Finish cleaning these deadened woods of their octopus infestation. This one's got glowing eyes, even though they have no eyes. It's kind of funny. Another message appraisal. We haven't looked at our messages in a, a hot minute. Let's do that. 16 on no head ahead. That's cool. Is there another? Oh yeah, there are some more baby octopus. And this one also has glowing eyes. What is up with that? For a creature with no eyes. I'm just getting myself blendered up. Twix the octopus tentacles. I think we're going to leave that one on shore. Alive for now. There's no reason to go ashore just yet. I was saying in the last episode that it seems like stagger doesn't matter where you attack. I think this octopus might be the one exception to that, where you have to attack it. You have to attack it in its face, in its beak. 
in order to get the stagger opportunity in. The big attack incoming. Still going. Really is quite a combo that it can do there. There's like 10 different hitboxes. I only need two. Or, or one repeated, of course. Alright, let's clean up this. Is that another site of great? No, it's the same one that we were just at. Doesn't seem like there's anything else over here. So, once again, not going to go on that coastline. It'll be a good place for me to uh, remember what we have and haven't checked. So we'll just ride along it. Check out this island, I suppose. There is a scarab atop it. Of course, we got that line of scarabs to our east. Excuse me. That scarab disappeared immediately, and I thought I had a good uh, dismounted jump opportunity, and I still messed it up. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about these flying scarabs. Oh, what the heck? I don't know if that's the same one. If it just teleports. Probably gonna take some fall damage here, but... We did not, actually. So now I don't know if I need to come back here. Or if that was the scarab that we saw at the top. It's gotta be the same scarab. Well, I suppose it doesn't have to be, but it could be. I was going to say, I don't know how we're going to deal with these scarabs. I really don't know what they mean either. The fact that there's so many of them over here. They are blue scarabs, so they don't uh, really benefit us one way or the other. Because the blue scarabs restore FP. I guess we could... Uh, use some, but I saw some messages. I guess I did not. Continue taking them out one by one, I guess. Oh, um... There be dragons. Or, I suppose, one dragon. Don't really want to get closer to it. Not too surprised to see another dragon, to be honest, but... Definitely didn't expect to see it. It was, uh, hiding. Hiding in its home. Something behind it. Oh, it is a corpse of a sorcerer. Bunch of items, including a blue item. <coughs> Well then, do we want to fight a dragon right now? I guess that's this little spot, eh? We could fight a dragon right now, making that mark a little redundant. Let's see what else we got going on just in this immediate area. The tree cover can hide some, some stuff. Like whatever's going on over there. Uh, that is... Maybe a scarab and an imp seal gate, requiring some stone keys. Okay, there's a bunch of scarabs here. They don't even drop any souls, so it's a bit of a waste of time. Uh, well, we're definitely using the keys. How many keys do we have? Good question. We have ten, so yeah. No reason not to. Now we have eight. 
Let's have a look, a peep in this cave, in this cavern. Is there a site of grace? There is. It's an Academy Crystal Cave. I guess we'll touch the, the grace. Are we going to get immediately sidetracked from our dragon killing quest? Kind of what happened. Um, we are directly underneath the academy. I wonder if this would be the cave where uh, Patches mentioned there was an opportunity to be teleported. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll check out this cave. I think that's what I decided. Actually, I'm being indecisive. Apologies. I want to have a look at what's out here again, just briefly. Yeah, there's not much going on aside from, you know, a friggin' dragon. And, you know, more swamp. Oh, there's another site of grace right there. Once again, seems like you can just do a quick hop, skip, and a jump and find a new site of grace in this lake without much effort. Is that another hail rider ahead? I believe it is. There's two, in fact. As well as uh, another gazebo. What's this location called? The Crystalline Woods. I'm going to put another marker down. Though I suppose that's a bit unnecessary. I guess with that uh, Sight of Grace right there, we could just go fight the dragon. There's really... Not a, a whole lot of reason not to, I guess. Didn't notice those little enemies. There's some bell ringers. You don't die to one hit on horseback. ambush there. It seems we are free from the ambush. This tumbleweed is just like spinning in the water. It's kind of funny. I said we weren't going to check out much of the coastline here. Oh god, these prawns are so disgusting. When you look at the bottom, is that like an egg sack? It also has like tentacles inside of it. Not a fan. Chug out before the fight. We'll get a flask back afterwards. Oh, we got a, a second here to ruin our fun. We gotta fight this one. Mano a mano. Seems it can do a two stab into grab combo. I knew it was doing the second swipe. So I didn't want to give it the opportunity to hit me. One. Oh, another grab attempt. Heal up again. That's a new attack. I don't think I've seen that. Just a very heavy downward slam with the quick claw. So we got a couple crabs or more prawns over here on the coast. One of them is patrolling. One of them is active. We actually have uh, four of them here. There is a corpse in the middle of them. I guess we're going to take out this camp since we already started. This camp of crawfish. Um, I just threw a fire pot at it and it didn't react. One, two, no, no third strike. One, no second strike. Big grab attempt. Go for the jump. Get punished. One, grab attempt. One, 
One, two, three. No swipe after. It's a huge miss. Probably gonna try to shoot me in a moment. It did not. Five. Oh, I thought that would be enough. Okay. This is going to be a tricky little section, I have a feeling. Because I'm sure when I attack this first one, the second one's going to get engaged as well. It appears we are only fighting this first one. I missed my second charge, or my third charge tech. Okay. That... Prawn is looking at us, so perhaps we want to fight this one first. Yeah, I don't like looking at their belly. Some grossness going on. What's this corpse contain? Just a strip of white flesh. We're just farming for strips of white flesh here, it seems. Thankfully, charge attacks make quick work of the prawns. So I said we weren't going to go on the coast, and here we are, along the coast. Uh, I think that means I'm going to mark like here, and maybe like here. Indicate the sections that we have not checked. And then I guess we're gonna go back and maybe fight a dragon? Saw the tumbleweed, I wasn't sure what I was looking at. I missed a friggin' strip of white flesh back there, oh well. How strong do y'all think this dragon is? That's the question. Took damage because it landed on me. It does appear to be sleeping. Still. What are the chances we can sneak up on a dragon? What are the chances we can loot the dragon's horde back here? This just seems like asking for trouble. Lyrnian. Oh, Glintstone Dragon Smarog. I thought it would be named after Lake Lyrnia. Did get a good charge attack in there. I don't know what attack it's doing, but I somehow dodged it. Another big, chunky charge attack. Probably want to get on the horse. I had a feeling that that would be a big breath beam. Oh my gosh. Okay. Chug up. Dismount. I said dismount. I was pressing too many buttons there. I buffered a heavy attack. <laughs> kind of scary. We've got a mosquito here. I did take it out and managed to barely dodge that tail swipe. Get away from its mouth. We staggered it? We staggered it. Not gonna bother looking for a critical attack opportunity. We just did a thousand damage with charge attacks instead. Missed a heavy. Did take off yet again. Was not prepared to dodge that. Okay, it's pretty bad. Tail swipe again. Might be able to get another head attack in. We did not.
big miss on its part. We can get a good charge attack in. Not two, though. Another tail swipe. We are out of stam. As long as it doesn't do beam attacks, which it is. And by beam, I mean breath. That's, that's a hurt and miss. We had such an opportunity there. One more good hit. Doing a big turnaround bite. Oh, I wanted to hit its face. Okay. Big damage on a wing attack there. It's taking off. Mount back up just in case. Get off the horse. Okay, okay. <laughs> Another greedy charge attack, but it worked out. Great enemy felled. A dragon down. We got a dragon heart as well. New draconic powers available at the Cathedral of Dragon Communion. Saw an item. I believe it was probably just uh, from a dragonfly. If I had to guess, and it seems I am correct, a dragonfly who felt the need to get involved in my fight with a dragon. Yeah, that dragon wasn't too tough. Definitely harder than the first one, I have to say. Dragon Wound Grease. I thought about using one. Academy Glintstone Key. Did not expect one to find, or to find one here. So we can go into the Rhea Lucaria Academy now. Key to the seals binding both gates to the Academy of Rhea Lucaria activates warp magic bound within the seals. A glintstone key will remember its user, meaning once it's used, it can never be passed on to another. The Academy does not welcome the indolent. Okay, so we have one key that man was requesting. Uh, I believe his name is Sorcerer Topes. Something like that. Or was he? He was all the way over here. Yes, so he was requesting a key, a glintstone key. Which means if we use this one, we will not be able to give it to him. I uh, have to wonder if perhaps there are more than one key to be found. And if that is the case, then we just need to find another key to give it to him, I guess. Uh, we did get a lot of souls there, so we'll probably try to level up here. I think we're going to go into this cave, but I definitely just passed it. Here it is. Right. Dragon has been taken care of. We're definitely going to sit down, level up. Just level up HP some more. We're not hurting anything else. Once we get to like 40 HP, 35 might be enough, but... Once we get to 40 HP for sure, then we can just put points into whatever afterwards. I'm going to use my lantern. It's rather dark in here. I hear some rats. And I see one, in fact. These appear to be some purple crystals. Which we seemingly only find underground, at least so far. What shall be at the bottom of this cave? Another Crystallion? The first Crystallion we found was at the bottom of a mining shaft. That said, the mining shafts are... Uh, to mine out... Crystals. Time for Stealth Snake. I'm really worried about this. Okay, so there are... I noticed those figures in the distance. They are enemies. There's also one right in front of us. Looks like a cave of casters. Another bit of a shotgun blast maneuver. We do not one-shot them with a jump attack. We don't have our... Uh, jump charm on, though. 
Glintstone. Let's maybe put that jump charm on, make it a little bit easier to deal with these. We are still at a medium load. If we do this, what happens if we switch out the other one? Heavy load. So that answers that. Maybe we can one shot them with a jump attack now. Oh, seems like the squad was investigating, but they did not check the little corner I was hiding in. These are just one-faced sorcerers. The mask only has one face as opposed to that this mask with two. To me that means they have less sorcery uh sorry, less sorcery prowess. Less spells to worry about. For some reason I did not expect the enemy here. I saw the player ghost and I just assumed it was just that. Got a cage with a blue item in it. Can we loot it? We can. Stone sword key. Right, so that's it for this little side path. This room seems like deceptively large, but I don't think it is. Yeah, because we're just going backwards now. Nothing back here. This is just where the two-headed caster was, was hiding out. Thought those were a bunch of items, but they're a bunch of fireflies. I don't know why I check messages that are up against a wall like that. I always know what the answer is. I wasn't sure if we'd be able to open that. The message said first off left. I guess that would be why this man up there. Probably cannot sneak up on a man who's looking directly at you. So the next strat is to do a run in jump attack. It said run in jump attack. <laughs> okay, he's a big boy. He's got support from his friend now. Somehow managed to dodge that second shot. Just gonna hide through the door. Maybe the big boy will want to approach. Maybe. Okay. Can't tell if he's wearing a mask underneath that hood. I assume he is. But those stone masks are rather large. That hood was not. Got a gold fog wall. You know what that means. Or you should by now. Striking required ahead. Indicating I might want to switch out to my battle hammer. Be wary of up, be wary of left. I wasn't sure if that would work. How do I get up there? Excuse me, how do I get up there? You're not gonna tell me? Okay, well, let's see what's in this chest, I guess. Rune arc. Seriously though, how do you get up there? Did I miss something? Hmm. It really feels like I missed something. But this does not seem to lead to where I want to go. This is just the big open room. Hmm, that is odd. 
Perhaps there's another entrance to this cave somewhere. I'm just a little more disappointed because he dropped a friggin' item. Why do they always drop items when I'm out of reach? I do see uh, lanterns up there and perhaps another path. So I have to wonder if maybe we kill this boss, we'll find a way back over there, or if we actually go to Rhea Lucaria, we'll find a way down into these tunnels from another way. For now, I guess we're going to go into this fog wall, see what it contains. I was right in the fact that they were Crystallians. Okay, so one has a spear, which is this one, and the other one has a staff, which indicates to me... Okay, striking is definitely the play. They don't do crazy damage, but neither do we. We literally do 24 damage. This one literally just does jump stabs repeatedly. Okay, switch to the battle hammer. I unequipped it by accident. Did a crystal magic spray on us, did some decent damage. It's hard to know when it's going to stop stab stabbing. Three, four, five, big jump. Big jump has extra range or something. That is the damage I was looking for. Staggered it. <laughs> Once you get some good strike damage in, it really just uh, makes these Crystallians fall apart. I'm just going to chug up just to play it safe. Casting some Crystal Rainstorm. We somehow dodged that. Got the stagger in. Wasn't sure if I should go for the critical strike or not. It's Beyblading. We did get the critical strike in. Very easy fight. Crystal release. Check behind me. Ensure we weren't missing anything. I don't know if we'll find a way back to that upper area, which is unfortunate. Crystal release summons. Well, that's magic downpour. So crystal release is like the same thing, except it requires 41 intellect. Scours area of the violent rain of, rain of crystal shards. Sorcery of the mysterious crystallians. Creates a massive crystal, then scat shatters it to scour a wide area. The sorcery is used by high-ranking adepts among the Crystallians. Some also call this sorcery the Crystal Sun. I was just reading the dis uh, difference between the Magic Downpour spell. It seems we have found our way into Ray Lucaria, perhaps. If this is taking us up, and it is... Oh, did my game just crash? It almost did for a moment. I can't tell if there's something below or not. Uh, the game froze, and now we're zooming. This is a, a rather fast elevator. If you took this elevator in real life, you would feel it in your stomach. We're still going. Which means we're rather high up now. Academy of Ray Lucaria. I don't know if I actually want to go up this way. I mean, we're going up this way, but I don't know if I want to stay up here. Is this literally just going to be a tower that we can't actually do anything with? That's what it seems like. Terra Magica. It's a unique spell name. Raises the magic strength of those within the sigil. Requires 20 intellect. Draws an academy sigil upon the ground, raising the magic strength of those within. Once the sigil would be cast from the highest belfry of the academy, covering the entire institution's grounds. 
This spell allows for such vivid experience of spellcasting success, it turns many a fledgling into a true sorcerer in a flash of newfound understanding. And you really cannot see anything from up here. You can see the friggin' Erd tree and that's it. See another building, perhaps a boss contained within. See some Aurora Borealis at this time of year. It's a different skybox than usual. I wonder if it's because we're in uh, Rhea Luca Lucaria. So yeah, we can't even seem to fall down to anywhere, which makes sense considering how fast we went uh, going upwards. I really hope there's not going to be anything that you can miss along these walls, like, a, you know, a hole in the wall we go to. I do want to get another look to see if we can... That was weird. We have a double uh, text box there stating the name of the location. Never seen that before. Big text saying Leorni of the Lakes. Smaller text saying Academy Crystal Cave. It does seem odd that that's the only way to get up there. I think I concluded. There's nothing below. And now I'm disappointed with the fact that we might have to leave this item that we uh, got dropped from a caster. So I don't see a way of getting up. Unless I do some ridiculous platforming. Which is not happening. That's unfortunate. Hopefully we will uh, find our way back over there, I guess. I don't know if there's anything even up there. It just seems odd that they'd put an enemy up there with uh, no way to get up there yourself. So I guess that means we're done here. Might as well touch this thing, return to the entrance. Did some decent work today in this episode. Go for a little bit longer. Switch back to the grafted blade great sword. Uh, so there should be nothing really for us to do in this lower section of the swamp. Not sure what that means, lower section of the swamp, but over here, I guess. I guess I'm gonna go to that little section where all the undead bell casters were to our left. Just to see if there was anything along this bridge. Doesn't appear so. Couple skeletal steed users. Should not have jumped off the horse, probably. Don't want to fight two at once, but that's what's happening. Okay, that's one. Here's the second. Should have just did a light attack the second time. It really is okay, it's attacking the horse is why I wasn't taking damage. I was like, we got hit a couple times there. We didn't take any damage. More smithing stones, this time smithing stone threes. Guess we can take this off now. And I suppose this as well. Big miss. <laughs> I wonder if these creatures are related to the Albinorix at all. There's no real reason to assume they would other than the fact that they're kinda decrepit, aged, as well as the way that they are kinda crawling. The Albinorix didn't really stand on their hind legs. They were also on all fours a lot of the time. That said, 
these monsters have two sets of arms, at least. And so they're technically on all sixes. If you want to get, you know, technical. <laughs> The hiccups a little bit. Hopefully they won't last too long. Once again, a little too short on my dismounted jump attack. Here's that might be it for this little location. So, that leaves the question as to what we're going to do now. I guess we're just going to continue northeast and see what we can find. Bunch more coffins. Guess we'll restock on our soul consumables. We should have quite a few now. So it might be time to use them. They are indeed guarded by undead creatures. Despite seemingly looking vacant, they kind of just fall out of the ground. Might be it now. Desecrate a few graves. What else is new? So we've not checked any of this northeastern section at all. Uh, Just what's on the other side of this little bridge we've checked out. But yeah, anything over here we've not. Oh, there's more enemies here. I guess we both uh, lost track of each other. A few more soul items. Yeah, those enemies bleed red blood, so I guess they're not albinorks. I made them bleed their red blood. Check along this coast a little bit more, but we're not going to go too deep into the landmass. That said, there is an item right here. I guess I'll just uh, mark this off just to indicate. Because I see the archer up top, and I don't really want to go all the way up there just to deal with that archer. And again, I think I'm going to call the rest of that coastline uh, a location for later. I don't know why, but I like automatically fired that thing. Oops. Definitely just called their attention over to me. Stab is not enough versus these men. They don't take as much piercing damage as they do slashing, it seems. What happens if we just let them fall? That's my question. Take a second to even get up. I want to see if the balloon is still up there. It is. I don't know what I tried to do there. I think I tried to feed the horse. Yeah. Press the wrong button combination. Marionette Soldier Helm. So we have a, a name for them now. Marionette Soldiers. I was calling them marionettes before. Probably don't want to equip this ugly looking thing. Cylindrical Helm of Plate Metal reinforced the lattice. Worn by Marionette Soldiers. Crafted to serve the Sorcerers. So they were created by magical means. 
The construction of this helm is remarkably crude. For a doll, the only thing that matters is that it does not break. Got a landmass with a tower in the center. Let's, uh... Continue just searching along the waters for the moment. See a bunch of prawns in the distance. Don't think there's going to be anything over here. We kind of checked out this location already. In fact, we've checked out those crystal spires as well. This is just a big section of crystal lizards in front of us. So I guess we deal with some prawns now. Some more prawn action going. Let's see if we can sneak up on it. Don't like the red eyes. Something about it. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Four, five? Six? Seven? It's just stabbing. It did not stop stabbing. I got so greedy. Got so greedy. Turns out when they're not uh, sleeping, they're rather difficult to take care of. The effects of the plants on its shell are uh, really interesting. They got like some jiggle physics. Frig, dude. It's been a while since I got shot by that, so I was not expecting it. Oh my gosh. Chug up again. Had to make sure we weren't getting approached by the second one. Oh my gosh. I tried rolling again, I swear. These friggin' prawns. <sighs> okay, we'll go get our souls and clean up that area. And then I might call this an episode. I'm extremely disappointed with that. How the heck do we get out of here now? This way. Pick up some more budding cave moss on the way out. Unfortunate way to go. I'm starting to really dislike fighting the prawns. When they're alert, anyway. When they're sleeping. Give me that full combo all day, every day. I don't know if I should be switching weapons. Let's try the battle hammer actually. I want to see how much damage the battle hammer does. They are armored, technically, with their chitinous shell. Is it chitin? It might be chitin. Cool, 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 cool. not huge damage. Wasn't bad. Really? I wasn't prepared for the grab. That's such a vicious grab attack too. Holy crap. I think that mosquito hit us too there. Extremely rude. I rolled way too early there. The heck are our souls? Don't worry about our souls. Worry about what you're doing right now. Oh my god. Well, so much for those 16,000 souls or whatever. I think I'm just going to call this an episode here. Apparently I'm a little tilted. Maybe I'll come back better than ever tomorrow or something. In fact, let's just teleport over there. No reason to be inside the cave. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to leave it at that sour note, losing 16,000 souls. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click the like button. Thank you for watching nonetheless. I very much appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, folks.